This is a short recording to explain what I was looking for uh, last night, which was March 8th, Thursday night in Session 8 class. I was trying to demonstrate a tool in here, and it really uh, didn't pertain to the sink tucked under the windowsill because that was a different situation. It had to do with the way the window is built. But what I do want to show is if you have an object that's hidden underneath another one that's tucked underneath, like this cooktop is tucked underneath this countertop. This was a house project I did in Revit. There's a tool, and the reason I couldn't find it on campus was because the resolution of this projector screen is so limited that the ribbon progressively collapses, and it was in view, it was in graphics, it was this little button here that says show hidden lines and remove hidden lines, not reveal hidden elements, which of course is the magic light bulb at the bottom. So what I do, what I'm going to do here show you what it really looks like and it may look this way on your uh, monitors even on campus because I'm tied to the resolution of the projector. Uh, if you widen your window eventually the ribbon gets wider keep going to the right which you can't see here but I'm stretching it to the right then I have show hidden lines remove hidden lines so there are labels next to these icons on the ribbon that will appear when the resolution allows it to be wide enough to do so so what I want to do is show how that works. So I hit the Show Hidden Lines button, and I'm not going to save. And then I want to pick the selected element to show hidden lines through. So I pick the countertop first, and then it's telling me to pick select elements that will show hidden lines. So then I want to pick the cooktop. So now you see dashed lines where the cooktop is hidden underneath the countertop. And if I want to turn that function back off for this object and I go to the remove hidden lines and it prompts me to pick the selected element to hide others in other words pick the countertop which is doing the hiding then I pick the cooktop again so that it is normally displayed the way it should be normally with the uh, no dash lines just hidden tucked underneath so that was all I wanted to show in this little um, extra recording here thanks for watching I can find my control to turn it off.